Chapter 9, Presentation Aids. In this chapter, we will be looking at presentation aids and why they are important in public speaking, how to use them, the various computer-based and non-computer-based types of presentation aids available, the correct use of presentation aids, and how to design professional-looking slides using presentation aids. So presentation aids, the resources beyond the speech itself that, that a speaker uses to enhance the message conveyed to the audience. It can appeal to all senses, smells, taste, touch, hearing, as well as sight. And you have a lot of possibilities you can use when it comes to presentation aids. So presentation aids must be relevant. They must be meaningful. Any slide that you choose to use in your presentation, it must have a clear connection to your topic and it must be really obvious to the audience why you decided to use that slide. It must clearly connect to the information that you're talking about. It also must add value. It must add something. There are some things that are simple that you're going to talk about in speeches. You don't require a presentation aid for those things, but other things may be more complicated. It may be more complex. It may be accentuated and further clarified with some sort of visual aid of some sort. And so you would use presentation aids to add value and add something special to your presentation. It must be used at the time they are spoken about. It's very important when you develop your presentation aids that you clearly know when you're going to incorporate those into your presentation. Not all, and not everything that you talk about in a speech needs a visual aid. Um, for instance, in this class, we're going to use PowerPoint or Google Slides, something like that. You don't need a slide for everything that you talk about. Only on important things, more complex things, things that need to be broken down a little bit for your audience. So it's very important that when you get to that information that, that your audience needs to view a slide to further understand, that you make that slide visible to your audience, that they can see it. So make sure that you use your presentation aids at the right time that you're speaking about it. I'm going to add something else to that too. Incorporate the, the visual aid to your speeches. Many times I see students that use presentation aids because they're required. They have the visual aids, but they never talk about them. They never reference them. They never tell the audience why they're looking at this slide and what it means. It's very important that you are interactive with your presentation aid. If there is a chart, a graph, something on the slide, you need to talk through it with your audience to explain uh, what information you're providing to them. Why is that there? Don't just have it behind you and assume your audience will connect the dots and figure it out. You need to incorporate that information into your presentation. Your presentation aids must be easy to use. Make sure if you're using technology that you incorporate all of it really well and make sure it all works. Sometimes, for instance, when we made a Google slide and we maybe we put a link in the slides, um, getting that to work, maybe when we pull it up on a different computer can be a challenge. Just make sure that you have everything where it's used seamlessly. If you need audio for a, a brief few, minute, few seconds, that you have that working, that your technology is working as it should be and it's easy for you to use. Make sure that everything in your presentation aids are visible audible, and understandable. We'll talk probably later about presentation aids and slides and, and the simplicity that's required. It's very important that your slides aren't jumbled, that you don't have too much text on your slide. Your presentation aids aren't to copy and paste the text of your outline. It's to provide key bullet point information or graphs or a picture of some sort. So make sure your, your slides are, aren't cluttered and they're very clear and easy for your audience to follow. Functions of presentation aids is to improve the audience's understanding. It should clarify and emphasize the information that you're sharing, aid in retention and recall of information. So just like think about when you're a student in a classroom and you hear a message from your teacher, hearing it is one thing, hearing it and seeing it further institutes that information into your memory and helps to make sure you retain and recall that information. It adds variety and interest into your speech, so having visual aids incorporated really adds interest for your audience 
and it helps to keep and gain their attention throughout your presentation. And it also en enhances your speaker credibility. When you incorporate visual aids and you incorporate them in a very professional, polished manner, it helps the audience see that, that you prepared for this assignment, you've prepared for your presentation, you, you provided and did extra work on presentation aids to make sure that they understood your words as clearly as possible. You put thought into what the audience's needs are while you're giving your presentation and it, and it really enhances what the audience thinks about you, the speaker. Common problems with presentation aids. Overkill. Too many aids are too much technological sophistication. Um, I remember years ago when I was in college, so a couple of decades ago, sadly, what, and PowerPoint was fairly new back then. And it did a lot of fun things. It had a lot of actions. It had a lot of things that you can incorporate. And I remember seeing presentations um, from other classmates where they incorporated all of it into one presentation. So they wanted every bullet point to come in to take an action or to spin or to bounce around the screen. Don't do too much. Simplicity is professional. So don't over, overkill and have too many presentation aids. Not everything needs a visual aid for it only use it for the more complex, more complicated information that you're providing. And don't make things overly complicated that it's difficult for you to incorporate on the spot. Things happen, technology doesn't always work, um, furniture is moved, sometimes you may plan um, as best as you can, but it's just hard for the technology to, to play out the way it should. Don't speak, presentation aids do not speak for themselves. Like I mentioned earlier, Every visual aid that you need that you provide needs explanation. And that's not the type of explanation where you give your speech, you talk about the main point, you talk about the information, and then you stop and it's like you address it separately. That's where you get to something in your speech and you say, okay, I, I'd like to share with you the, the statistics that I found regarding this problem in our nation. If you refer with me to the slide, and if you can see this graph, this graph is pointing out to you the, the statistics that my research gathered. And then you show that with your audience. It should be incorporated well. It should be incorporated seamlessly. You need to make sure to explain and talk about the presentation aid. Don't just have it there and assume that your audience will figure it out on their own. Types of presentation aids. We have charts. Charts are graphical representations of data. They keep statistical charts simple. Don't make it overly complicated. Know that your audience will not have an extended period of time to analyze the information. You need it very easy for them to interpret. Know your audience and what will work for them. They are helpful to explain step-by-step -step processes and decision trees can show relationships between ideas. So you can use charts to break down information for your audience to understand. Graphs are a type of chart. You can have a line, a bar, a pie, or a pictograph. Um, all of these things break down your data in a really easy to interpret visual representation. So using graphs, simplicity is important. Keep the number of categories or divisions low. Easy to understand, colors, clarity, and distinctions are very important. And ethics, know what the data means and use it appropriately. It's very easy to take research and take data and to skew the meaning to meet our personal needs. So make sure that you are interpreting the data ethically and appropriately and not adjusting it to meet your needs. Other types of visual aids, diagrams, photographs or artwork, maps, videos or audio recording, objects or models. A special note about using video or audio rec recordings. Use with care and preparation. Have them queued and ready to go. Don't take up extra time with them. One thing I will say, if we go back to that slide, thing I will say with the previous slide, and it's buried in here somewhere. Uh, okay, one thing I'll say is to make sure that you practice with it uh, make sure that you've queued up the link um, in the with the setting in the, which you're uh, presenting your speech in. You've checked with audio to make sure audio is working, but they should not be long. For this class, if you use some sort of audio or video recording, it should be, be seconds, um, no more than 15 seconds, I would say. So make sure if you use video or, or audio recording, you're using it minimal time. Um, if you show, a, I've had many students that are super creative and they tried to have an, a visual aid that's a video or audio and it was 20, you know, 
five minutes and they then they had a one minute speech well that doesn't quite work that way um, so any longer video is not going to count towards your presentation time so it's very important that if you use one you use it just for a few seconds and that it's very clear why you're using it and that you make that clear to your audience types of presentation aids living things animals um, that this is, can be a problem we know that they can be distract distracting People may have allergies or fears and regulations may prohibit them. Yourself, you can use yourself to show things like dress or size of something. People, ask ahead of time, make sure to they know what to expect from you. Um, in this class, you're going to use technology-based visual aids such as PowerPoint or Google Slides or Prezi. So using presentation slides like PowerPoint, the advantages, they're often expected, they're portable, they allow for you to embed video if you choose to use video. They offer robust potential for visualizing your concepts so you can incorporate your graphs, your pictures, all of that information. Disadvantages, they can be cliched and boring. So you have seen the death by PowerPoint videos um, where it does just, it can be monotonous. Um, if you feel that way about PowerPoint, I would encourage you to explore other options like Prezi. Um, linear design hurts critical thinking. Poor design, if you have too much text, small font, too many photos, I would just encourage that when you're designing your PowerPoint presentation, think professional and think simple. Too much information is not best when it comes to PowerPoint. Creating quality slideshows, unity and consistency. You have the same background, have the same font, have the same color scheme throughout. Emphasis on the focal point and visibility, Make sure that your text is vis visible. You aren't trying to pile too much text on one slide, that it's very clear. Tone, make sure that the tone of the presentation in the PowerPoint matches your tone. Um, scale and proportion, make sure that everything um, is professionally designed and it looks clean on your page, <clears throat> excuse me, in balance. Make sure the color scheme is easy to, to see. Make sure everything looks professional and polished. And then rhythm. It's important that as you incorporate your slideshows into your presentation that it doesn't distract, but it rather goes along and makes it a much more seamless presentation. Unity and consistency. Use consistent font, sizes, and colors. Choose a theme or similar backgrounds. Use animation sparingly, if at all, and I would really discourage you from using them at all. Tone refers to the attitude or feeling conveyed in your presentation. Any color or images should match the content and purpose of the presentation. Scale, proportion, and balance. Use numbers for implied order, bullets for everything else. Have white or empty space to help with symmetry. And limit the number of images per slide. Your audience can only look at one thing at a time. Rhythm. Avoid zipping through some slides while others leaving up others for a long time. Be sure your file, <clears throat> excuse me, will be readable on the computer you're presenting with and cite all borrowed graphics or text on a slide. One thing I would also encourage is that you have blank slides in between your content. If you have a picture or a visual projected behind you while you're speaking, even if that's not what you're referencing, that's what we're going to be focused on as your audience. So if you have information um, that you're sharing, but you don't have a slide, I would recommend that you put a blank slide in between so that your audience isn't focused on your slides and listening to your message. Delivery. Use the B key or remote mouse to blacken the screen when not referring to a visual aid, or you can do the blank slide. Maintain eye contact with the audience, not the screen. Remember that the screen is not there for you. The visual aid is not there for you. A mistake that many students make, and I'm going to guess in your career, you've also seen many professors and teachers make the same mistake, is that they think that the PowerPoint is there for them, and they turn their back to their audience, and they read the slides instead of looking at the audience. Remember that the slides are there for your audience. When it's information or data that you're explaining to your audience, it's very appropriate to turn and point and walk your audience through the information. However, it's not appropriate for you to read the information off as you go through instead of looking at your audience throughout your presentation. Low-tech presentation aids, a dry erase board, flip charts, handouts, 
or posters. Um, for our class, again, what I'm looking for is PowerPoint or Prezi or Google Slides um, to be incorporated into your presentations. Remember, presentation aids must be easily seen, heard, and handled. Show aids only when you're discussing them. Avoid shock value and bad taste with your visual aids. Consider psychological effects of color and template designs. Not all are created equal. Relevance and support of speech content are key. Think about it. So consider watching additional presentations such as TED Talks and note how the speaker does or doesn't use slides. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing your presentations and the visual aids that you incorporate into them.